This video is for the manual muscle test and length of both plantar and dorsal interossei. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is holding toes one and two over, and I'm going to ask my body to try to adduct their third toe towards the second. Whenever you're ready. Good. All right. Now the next thing I'm going to do is grab toe number three and move it over and ask for her to try to adduct toe number four over. Good. Then I'm going to hold on to toe number four and see if she can adduct her fifth phalanx over. Good. All right, so we've done active for toes three, four, and five. So now we're going to go on to our break and concentric. So while holding toe number two out of the way, I'm going to grasp the dorsal and plantar aspect on the proximal phalanx and say, please do not let me move you as I try to pull her third toe apart to and one, good, for a full five seconds. And now I'm gonna allow her to win in a concentric, so she's gonna pull those toes together. Excellent. We're gonna go on for the second muscle here. Again, I'm gonna try to pull her toe over like so while she holds it in place, and hold. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good, and this time I'm gonna let you win. Good. And let's go on to our third muscle here. So she's going to be trying to, again, hold her toe in this direction while I try to pull it apart. And hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. And I'm going to let you win. Pull that across. Pull, 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 pull. Good. So there's the concentric for all three. So we're going to finish with the length for plantar interossei. Because this has a dorsal digital expansion attachment, the secondary action at the metatarsophalangeal is flexion. So what I'm going to be doing is to extend the toe and then abduct it away. I'm going to extend and abduct away. And I'm going to extend and abduct away. All right, for the second muscle, we're gonna go through his dorsal interossei. So we're gonna start off by moving the big toe out of the way. And the first active range of motion is to try to get toe number two to move towards the big toe. Good. The second thing we're gonna do is try to get toe number two to move towards the third toe. So I'll move that slightly over. All right, finding these ones a little bit challenging today. Okay. Now we're gonna try to get toe number three to move towards toe number four whenever you're ready. Not bad. And lastly, I'm gonna get toe number four to move towards toe number five. Excellent. All right, so we've done active one, two, three, and four. So now we're gonna go into the break test. So I'm going to put my resistance finger on that proximal phalanx of toe number two and ask her to push into me here. Don't let me move you as I try to separate toe one and two. Three, two, and one, excellent. I'm gonna to go to the opposite side and I'm gonna to try to push her big toe in that direction. Please don't let me move you. Five, four, one, good. We're going to move on to toe number three. Please do not let me move you. Five, four, three, two, one. And lastly, we're going to push on to this toe. Please do not let me move you. Five, four, three, two, one. So we've completed all of our brake tests, and so now we're going to be moving into our concentric. Can you please move this toe towards that against my resistance? Excellent. So there's one. Again, can you please move this toe towards that toe against some resistance? Go ahead. Okay. We're going to get you to move this toe towards that toe against my resistance. Good. And lastly, I need you to move this toe towards your fifth toe against some resistance. Go ahead. Great. So we've done in this order all of active, all of break, all of concentric, versus on the plantar interossei, we did all of active, and then we did break concentric, break concentric, break concentric. It can be done either way, it does not matter. However, all of active needs to be done first. The last thing that we need to do is lengthen all four of these muscle bellies. So for this one, which abducted in this direction, I'm going to extend and adduct. For belly number two, 
which did this action. I'm going to extend and adduct the other direction. For toe number three, which abducted this way, I'm going to extend and adduct over top of toe number two. And lastly, for our fourth toe, which abducted this way, I'm going to extend and adduct this direction.